If you hood educated, I'm glad you made it. Allow me to unfold my knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from a hood brother's point of view to all of you here, there, and everywhere. Now check me out. Hey, listen, um, I need all my youngsters and some of the classic brothers and especially all the gang bangers, street guys and all that old type of stuff. I really need y'all to pay attention to me because I'm about to give y'all some real game, right? Now, here it is. We got the brother Muwap from the O. He has put out a post saying acquittal for Muwap, uh, lack of evidence, right? And so, in other words, Muwap and his lawyer is going to file a motion saying that there was insufficient evidence to convict him for the murder of FBG Duck. Rest in peace to FBG Duck. Now, a lot of you young brothers and you guys in the streets, y'all really believe in y'all mind that, hey, you know, if you get convicted, you come back on appeal, you can beat the case. No, it don't work like that. If that was the case, right? Listen to me, y'all. If that was the case, a lot of y'all homeboys would be home right now. But they not. And they done appealed their case over and over and over and over. And them appeals is not coming through. Because it's just not that easy. Now here it is. Muwap putting it out there to my some acquittal and lack of evidence. And from my understanding, they are saying that there's a lack of evidence because of the video footage. Forget everything else. Yeah, don't forget all the other stuff that they had against me. But it's the video footage, which is a powerful piece of evidence in the FBG Doug murder case. Muwa and his lawyer is going to motion to the court and say that the video footage is blurry. You cannot identify Muwa from the video footage. Now, I got to keep it 100. For those of you who have seen the footage, let's come on, y'all. Let's just be honest, right? Whether you a FBG Duck fan or whether you a King Von fan, you Oblock, can we just be honest? You can't identify nobody in that video. I'm talking about if you don't know them, right? I look. I can't identify nobody. And I don't know them brothers like that, but just by me seeing their faces and stuff like that, I couldn't point and say, yep, that's Muwa right there. I, I can't, right? So that's powerful. But here it is, though. This is the part that we got to pay close attention to. The fact that there are people that know Muwa. They are saying, that's Muwa right there. You see, what, you see what I'm saying? When you got people that know you, they know your mannerisms. They know your walk. They know your clothing. They know your hair. They know how your arms went. Like, they just know you. You got people like that, security guards and, and your homeboys, baby mamas and, you know, trenches news and those guys that know these boys are saying that that's move up right there. And... That evidence is so compelling and so powerful that a jury of 12 believed them. That's just that. We're not going to talk about, you know, you guys jumping in the cars and, and we're not going to talk about after the murder happened, you know, they got you, Muwap, and somebody else, you know, at the dealership trying to, you know, uh, exchange the car or return the car right after the killing. We ain't going to talk about the clothing that you had on during the killing. It's the same hoodie that you got caught with after the killing, right? So we ain't going to talk about all that type of evidence. We're not going to talk about the evidence where your homeboys and them and, and, and their boyfriend and girlfriends all text messages saying what they done did and what y'all done did and implicated you as being one of the guys that put in the work. We're not going to talk about you yourself talking about dude from 63rd couldn't get back up in a rap song that you made. We're not going to talk about the shoes that you I'm talking about. Listen, 
it's one thing to show your shoes and all that old type of stuff, but you know, to have a flash and you know, with the duck on there and all that, we're not gonna talk about all that evidence. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna talk about you know uh, somebody that's in the inner that's that's with y'all, that's close to y'all, telling the police that hey yeah these are the guys and King Von paid them a hundred thousand dollars to do that. We're not gonna talk about that. We're just gonna talk about the blurry footage of the video. So let me tell y'all, for all you brothers and you youngsters, you gangsters, you street guys that really believe this appeal stuff work, let me tell you what the court is gonna do. The court is gonna look at the motion from Muwap and his attorney, and they are gonna say, well, hey, listen, we did not decide this case. There was not a bench trial. He decided to have a jury trial of 12 people. They believe that he's guilty. What do we look like saying that they are wrong when you, the only evidence that you came and showed us is that the video footage is blurry? That's not enough. That weighs, that doesn't weigh heavily against the guilt. It don't. And so by the judges, I mean, I mean, by the court viewing it that way, it ain't going to be, come on, man, ain't going to, listen, ain't going to be no acquittal. There's not no insufficiency of evidence because the court is going to say, well, the, the jury believed that there was enough evidence to convict this young man, and we're sticking with the jury's verdict. Now, had he had a verdict of, you know, had he had a bench trial with the judges, then the judges might can reconsider it and things like that. But being that he had a jury of 12, nah, uh-uh. You got to come better than that. See, once you, listen, listen to what I'm about to tell you, brothers. When you go on an appeal and you're talking about lack of evidence or you're talking about newly discovered evidence, you got to come with something that is so convincing that it excludes you from committing the crime. Did y'all hear what I just said? That you got to come with something that is so convincing that it takes you out of the crime. In other words, Muwap will be excluded from the guy that everybody is saying that Muwap is. And then there will be somebody else in place of Muwap. It was him. It was a mistaken identity. It wasn't Muwap. You see what I'm saying? It's almost like those DNA cases where a guy get locked up because they found some DNA or they didn't find no DNA at first, but they get locked up because the witness say it was him. You know, a woman might say this guy was the one that came in my house and took advantage of me. I'm 100 percent sure it was him. Then they do a test on her, get the swab and they come back. The DNA don't match the guy that she identified. See, that excludes him once the DNA comes back. He is excluded. He couldn't have been the one that committed the crime. Unless it's that type of compelling evidence, then they would, you know, reconsider and, and Muwat would be acquitted or Muwat would be getting released for something that he didn't do. They ain't coming with nothing like that. They talking about some video footage that the jury looked over, the jury heard the evidence, and the jury said, yeah, we believe these guys who said that that was you, and we believe everything that the prosecution said that that was you. And that's how them appeals go. It's not that easy. So for all my young guys and you gangbangers and all that old type of stuff, quit thinking that, oh, yeah, I'm finna just go in here, I'm gonna commit crimes, and I'm gonna get an appeal. It don't work like that. So I'm sorry to say, that I don't believe that Muwap is going to be getting released for the murder of FBG Duck. And let me explain to you why he has been convicted. He already been convicted. The jury has spoken. Now it's time for him to get sentenced. Now it's time for him to get his punishment for what he did according to the jury. So all that uh, acquittal and lack of evidence and all that, man. Look, it don't work like that, brothers. Don't believe that. Don't believe that. So all that, um, you know, Lil Dirk coming out with the post saying, you know, free moo wop and all that old type of stuff. Come on, bro. 
that's what I look, man. You brothers got to understand something, man. That now that this man has been convicted, now all of a sudden it's free muwap. Look, ain't no free muwap no more. The man been convicted. The man finna get punished for what he did. Ain't no free no, uh-uh. None of that. No, uh-uh. Ain't no free muwap. He's been he has been convicted of murder. Ain't none of that. He's at the stage of the game now where he's finna get punished. So all that free muwap dirt, you, you know ain't no free muwap. You know he's at the punishment stage. You done been to jail before. You know how this go. So all that, man, free muwap and all that, man, look, uh-uh. No. This man right here is at the punishment stage. He's finna get punished for the murder of FBG Duck. That's what's finna happen. Regardless of all that, you know, and, and as a matter of fact, since it's it's free muwap so much and all that, um, to all my gangsters, game bangers, and street guys, please just, just listen to me. I got something for you. Just listen to me. Um, this is what gangsters do, and game bangers and stuff like that, and so-called street niggas. Excuse my language, y'all. Um, they wait for you to die. You know what I'm saying? Then they want to mourn and put your face all on the shirt and all that old type of stuff. We're going to get our get back and all that. They wait for you to go to jail. Then all of a sudden it's free you and all this old type of stuff. But during this whole time, right, uh, ain't nobody stopping you from game banging, trying to kill and out here shooting people and all that. And every, You know, they ain't stopping all that. But now you in jail finna get punished and you looking at a life sentence. Now they talking about some free you when ain't no free you. They know that. And not only that, if it was really free you, uh, Brother Dirk, you a multi-millionaire. Um, how many times did you go to uh, Muwap's trial to support him while he's going through these trying times? How many times did you show up to the trial to show your support? Um, how much money did you put on the investigators and stuff like that? And and for all the other guys, you a multimillionaire. For all the other BDs that's locked up on that case, like how many? Even though y'all ain't from the, the same deck and all that, but your boy is wrapped up in this, and you understand that if you help these other guys with these paid lawyers. And it'll make it a lot more better to give your boy some chances of coming home. How much money did you spend on the lawyers? Um, that program that you got, Neighborhood Heroes. Did you, you know, endorse him on that and say, hey, you know, this is an innocent brother. They trying to lock him up for something that he didn't do. I mean, like, what type of uh, uh, voice of the street message did you put out there for Muwa? All he get is an Instagram post. Free Muwap. Oh, man. Man, Dirk a real nigga, man. He said free Muwap, man, on his Instagram. What about his kids? What about his mother, father, family members, his loved ones? I bet they was there. I bet they was at the trial. I bet they feel pain in their heart knowing that their son and brother and cousin and family member, they loved one, finna get punished. I bet they feel all that. So that's that's what I'm talking about. That's why I just don't agree with this stuff because here it is. Look, y'all, to all my gangsters, to all my guys that's in these gangs still sacrificing your life. L let me tell you something. You can get... Beat up for the gang, slapped, stabbed, uh, shot, paralyzed, even killed for the gang. But when it's time for the gang to support you, for putting in work for the gang, they turn their back on you. Nah, ain't, we can't send them no money. I ain't sending them no pictures. 
ain't, ain't getting them no lawyer money, ain't paying no bonds. None of that. They turn their back on you and then betray you. They go in and go hit your baby mama, your girlfriend, and all that type of stuff. Turn your children out. Now your children doing the same thing that you was doing. You see what I'm saying? But you done did all this for the gang. And then once you get locked up for putting in work for the gang, the gang turn their back on you. And then wait for you to get convicted. And then say, hey, free Muwak. When you know goddamn well, ain't no free Muwak. The boy at the sentencing phase of the judicial system. And it's over with. He going to the penitentiary. So, I mean, look. All my young brothers, some of my classic brothers, and even the sisters out here that's involved in all this madness. L let me tell y'all something. It's not worth a damn thing. Yeah, they make it sound nice and it's fun and all this whole type of stuff, but man, come on, man. Y'all got to get away from that gang bang lifestyle. Like I just said, you can do all that sacrificing for the gang, but then when it comes time for the gang to, to show you any type of support, they going to wait till you dead or in jail and then going to say, hey, man, yeah, free that brother. Free me? No, you should have been stopping me from doing the bullshit that I was out here doing. They got me sent to the penitentiary. They got me sent to the grave. If you cared for me, if you loved me, you should have been saying, no, nah, hey, brother, uh-uh. Y'all finna go do what? No, y'all not, bro. Don't go do that. Y'all going to jail. Leave that man alone. Yeah. That's what Lil Dirk should have been doing. Since he free moo whopping all that. He should have said, as soon as he heard that these boys was putting a ticket on Duck Head, he should have been like, hey, whoa, hold on, wait. What is y'all doing? We millionaires now. What is y'all doing? Y'all finna mess up the bag. King Vaughn, rest in peace. Man, sit down, boy. You a millionaire. Calm down. Yeah, no, nah, you, you can't have that same attitude you had since they looked up to you so much. Since you are the voice of the streets. Those are your words, Dirk, not mine. Yeah, since you love these guys so much, hey, calm down, bro. We ain't, uh, don't do that. That way, you won't even have to be saying free Muwap. Why? Because Muwap would still be free. That's what you call thinking. That's what you call looking at the bigger picture. And that's what I want to encourage all you brothers. When y'all see this look, this stuff on the internet, this guy talking about some uh, lack of evidence and all that, how much y'all want to bet? Put some money on it. This boy's going to the penitentiary. Who want to bet then? Dirt, you want to? Who? Who want to bet? Since this man is sitting on the internet and fooling all you kids to my some lack of evidence and uh, acquittal for move. Ain't no acquittal. Who want to bet? Now, allow me to say this right here. Uh, I don't enjoy this brother going to jail, but this the thing. According to the jury, he killed FBG Duck. And this how it go. This is a part of the gang lifestyle. You put in that work, you get caught, you accept your punishment. Don't do no telling, don't break, don't fold, you accept your punishment. So now it's punishment time and now the gang bangers want to wiggle out. I don't want to try to get a pill. I don't want to be in here. I don't like being in jail. Yeah, no, you should have thought about that while you was running around here with them pistols. And that's what I need all you young brothers, some of you classic brothers and you sisters to start thinking about right now. If you're running around here with these pistols and you shooting and trying to kill people and stuff like that, understand that you can potentially kill somebody and end up spending the rest of your life in the penitentiary. So if you don't want that type of punishment and you can't do no jail time at all, then you need to go put that pistol up and go get you a job and get out them streets. This is Hood Educated, not Lane Related. Peace and love. And y'all take care of yourself out there.